Hey guys, what's going on? We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get started right away. We've got tons of things to do. So, nobody commented, nobody said anything to me about where I should put my jungle temple, but it, it's time for me to build it because I want to have a portal and I want to have things and stuff, so we're going to build it. I laid out these three uh, markers to show me what my three options were, in my opinion, and I decided I liked the gravel one the best because... Either the gravel or the cobble. I haven't... I know I don't want the the mossy one that goes behind the tree. So we're going to start by getting rid of that one. And then the way I see it is that if I do the gravel over here, then I'll have more space in front. And if I do the cobble, I'll have more space in the back. And I kind of want the extra space in front, I think because I might just repopulate that extra space with trees and stuff anyway. So we're gonna go with gravel. I'm pretty sure that's 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 what we're gonna do. So, wow, that, that music feels really loud. Oh, it's still pretty far down, but let's move it to nine and we'll put our sound down to 10. Okay, if, it, if anything here is too loud, don't forget you can always tell me and I'll make sure to fix it. So we're going with the gravel outline for the cobble. Now I don't have a whole lot of mossy. I've only got 34 mossy cobble. So unlike most jungle temples, this one's gonna be made almost entirely out of cobble. And I've got some stone stairs. So let's, as I find more mossy cobble, like I'm hoping that down in that uh, ravine that we discovered yesterday, which I explored a little bit, uh, not much. I built a ladder shaft down to the bottom, and then I lit up some of the stuff at the bottom. It turns out there was a lot more caves down there, but, uh, I, I really hope there's some more dungeon down there, because I need more mossy cobble. I can probably trade for it, too. I've got a lot of iron, and maybe someone will need iron? Maybe? Who knows? Gotta replace that torch on both sides. So that's that's important item number one is I'm going with this particular spot for the temple and I still haven't heard from anybody about the uh, I think this goes three in but I'm not sure about the hole over there over there the hole in the ground over there but I, I still really think that was just a prank um hang on I've got on my iPad, I have a picture of a jungle temple. Okay, there's four stairs in the middle. So I think I need to put one more in. Yeah, okay. And then we put in stairs, which I'll replace my axe since I'm not using my axe right now. One, two, three, four. And then same thing on the other side. So that goes one, two, three out. I was right, three out. Second thing we need to talk about why is this a, a vanilla episode if I said I was going to be alternating? Uh, because Wanna Beast is down again. He, uh, guys, you know I love Feed the Beast. I know I love Feed the Beast. I, I love Feed the Beast. Everyone knows it. And it's not that I'm not playing Feed the Beast. Uh, ben Baptist, who I've talked about before, has a Feed the Beast server that was actually the first Feed the Beast server I ever played on. And... I was playing on that server with him the other day. It's got Mistcraft in it, which is pretty abnormal. Uh, this seems like a really small jungle temple. Like, I've never been in one myself. Oh, that's because most of it's underground. That makes sense. All right, never mind, ignore me. Okay, so we go in like that, and then the whole floor will be cobble. Let's destroy this sign. And it's daytime, so we can pick up the torches and not feel like we're gonna die. Alright, entire inside cobble. Anyway, so I've been playing- I've played Feed the Beast for like seven or eight hours straight on his server the other night. I was just madly in love with Feed the Beast all over again. A whole new world. Uh, it was not actually a whole new world. It was the same world I played on when I first joined that server a while back, the first Feed the Beast server I ever played on, um, which meant it had all of my 
stupid mistakes as far as bees and power and I really didn't know how to play Feed the Beast back then. It's quite silly. Maybe I'll record an episode or two on that server and show you guys how bad at Feed the Beast I was back then. I knew nothing. Also, that server was originally in the Feed the Beast A pack, which means it had a whole lot fewer things to begin with. So that could have been why I was bad at Feed the Beast. But I do love Feed the Beast, and nothing's ever going to change my love for Feed the Beast. What I'm having, what I'm struggling with these days is my love for the wannabe server, because it's down so much, and it, it kind of ruins a lot of things when the wannabe server goes down. Like, I don't know if I showed you the, in my last wannabe episode, but um, when it goes down, things like my tree farm run out of dirt, uh, my my whatchama, my steam boiler runs out of charcoal, all, all kinds of things that are just kind of really problematic happen when the server goes down. So I'm really struggling. Is this too far forward? Yes, it is. I'm really struggling wanting to play on that server at all, even if it was up. I think I would be having some problems with it. Uh, but it's not up. It's down right now. So I don't really have to be worried about not wanting to play it. Okay, so the temple's height is one, two, three, four, five. So we go up five on these sides. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take some damage. I should take my armor off. I've only got the iron chest plate left from all the dying. Three, four, five that I've been doing. So, damn, didn't mean to fall that time. One, two. Three, four, five. So I've only got that arr, that one chest piece left. Uh, I'll have to make some new iron for five. And we've got an ender farm now, apparently. I've never seen it. I've never been there. Maybe we'll take a trip over there sometime soon um, and get some experience and enchant some things with with six with 30 levels that's how many levels it takes to be maximum it's probably not as fast an xp farm as the one that mike has on wanna beast but as we know you're never gonna be as fast as anything on wanna beast i wonder if i can use inventory tweaks and still still connect to the server because this is this is awful i would love to have a the ability to, how high is that? Is that, it looks only one high on the picture, but you can't get in if it's only one high. So I'm gonna have to make it too high. What was I just talking about? I've completely forgotten already. Um, oh, nothing's as fast on vanilla as it is in Feed the Beast. We all know this. It's, it's factual information. It's not like anyone's surprised at the lack of speed that you have doing just about anything in vanilla. Okay. I don't actually know if there are doors on both sides, but I'm making it be that way. Actually, Lord Bear messaged me yesterday and said he found a temple, so I might have to go check that one out so that I can double check, and then maybe I can steal its mossy. But after I, after I build the outline in the portal, because I know at the very least that it's shaped like this, and that's a good start off point because I'll do the exterior decoration and such later. So yeah, um, back to what I was originally talking about. Wanna Beast, it, it breaks my heart to not be able to put up Wanna Beast videos because I know some of you are really enjoying my take on Feed the Beast. I know some of you don't usually watch Feed the Beast videos, but you're watching mine. I know some of you don't know all that much about Feed the Beast, um, but I just there, there's nothing I can do about it. I could put them up. I could put them up on Ben's server, but I don't know, man. Ben's server. I don't know how much I'll be playing on that one once Wanna Beast comes back up, especially since. Okay, so I was on. We'll just make stone stairs going all the way up. I was watching Darkfan stream last night and oh, don't want to chuck that 
I was watching Dark streaming last night, and he is playing on the Ultimate Pack, which includes some new uh, mods like Applied Energistics and Modular Power Suits, just some other mods that the Minecraft Pack doesn't have. And watching him play that was amazing. Uh, Applied Energistics is the coolest thing. Modular Power Suits, also the coolest thing. Uh, <laughs> basically, watching Dark play on a whole new pack that I haven't experienced really made me really want... Oh, I'm going to need more cobble. Really want to start a new world and get the ultimate pack because I think it would be really cool. I'm running out of cobble. Oh, I might have to go back home and get more. Because it's really cool and really awesome, and I really want to play on that pack. So, yeah. New world time. Dark fan, are you watching? Dark, if you're watching, fix the server and then put the ultimate pack on it, and we'll start a new world. I almost don't even care if, like, we spawn in a bloody wasteland, even though it's the ugliest thing on the planet. I could go hunt around and find a meadow to build my home in. Like... Whatever, man. I just want applied energistics and modular power suits. And I also learned, I taught my, I actually helped out by teaching myself about power converters, I believe the mod is called. We found that power converters has a way to charge items that use EU without needing to build anything from uh, Industrial Craft 2. So that's pretty cool, um, because Dark Fan hates Industrial Craft 2, like, on principle. I don't understand it. Don't ask me. But there are so many cool things in the pack that I would just love to get a chance to play with. Oh, there, go there I go. Because <laughs> uh, I'll explain that after I'm finished talking. Um, because I... Oh yeah, so many cool things in the pack. So much that I want to be able to play with. Just, uh, I, I want it. I want it now. Wants it. I do. Um, 34 mossy cobble. Let's, let's try to distribute this in a way that looks natural for now. I could just always use the image that I'm looking at and start replacing that mossy cobble. I guess that seems like a pretty good way to make it look natural, right? So, yes, ultimate pack, I am now 100% for the ultimate pack going on the wannabe server and 100% for starting a new world as soon as possible because everything is awesome. Everything is like seven or eight times more awesome on the ultimate pack than it is on vanilla. Not vanilla, mind crack than it is on the mind crack pack. That's not vanilla. This is vanilla, silly self. Um, so yeah, Minecraft pack, significantly inferior to, uh, to the ultimate pack. And if you're just getting started on Feed the Beast, I hope you consider using the ultimate pack instead because it's awesome. It's the awesomest thing. It's got so many mods that will enhance your playing experience that uh, the Minecraft pack just doesn't have. It's really cool. To sum it up. To sum up what I'm trying to say, play the, Mi play the ultimate pack and your life will be enhanced by it. Let's see. One, two, three, and let's do it like this. I think that's how it is in the image. It, like, I know you're all trying to say to me, Rachel, every jungle temple is randomly generated. Why are you following this one image that you happen to find on the Minecraft wiki? And I'm like, guys, because it's so much easier for me to fi follow an image than to come up with something creative myself. <laughs> I'm like the least creative person I know. That's a lie. Um, but I'm the least cleverly creative person I know. Okay, that's... Oh, damn, I thought that was going to be all my mossy. Foiled again. That's all my mossy. I am now out of mossy cobblestone. Um, there's a center on here, right? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. That's the center, right? That's not a center. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about that? That looks more like a center. There we go. Because it went to, uh, okay. Yeah, I can count. I can math. I can smart. One, two, three, four, five, six. Center? Center. Not really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, is this even now? One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, boo, it's even now. All right, I guess I'm taking torches off the sides and putting them on the corners to try to light this place up. And it's still not enough. Dang. Center-ish. Let's not spawn monsters. That's what matters, right guys? Dang. And we'll have to keep them on the corners because it looks like we're not fully safe. And on the entranceway. Da -da. Putting torches up so that we don't get killed. Alright, so that's the beginning of my temple. <laughs> it needs some work, but what it really needs is a portal, which I brought all the things for. I believe since it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 on that side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 by 6. So, good. Okay. Cool, it's even, even numbered, no matter where, where I want to put the portal. So where do I want to put the portal? Hmm. If I put it on one side, then it'll just kind of be at the top of my base. If I put it over here, then I should probably close this door. Um. Hmm. Let's see. I think, I, I, I don't know, I like the idea of being able to go in and out from the back. I think that's a useful s tool to have, especially if I expand my base out further in any direction. I want to be able to have multiple entrances. Um, so maybe I will put the portal on the side and I can send my base in that direction. Or I can put it on this side and send my base in that direction underground. Hmm. Now, I also have to keep in mind that there's a bloody ravine slash huge cave system underneath here, which is going to cause a lot of problems. So maybe I will send my base in that direction since I know the ravine goes that way. All right. So yeah, portal, portal goes on this side. Let us retrieve obsidian and flint and steel, and we will put up back up the stairs and the cobble. Put that back on my bar. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the center, right? Four on that side. Four on that side. Okay. Here we go. One, two. One, two, three. That's the height of a portal, right? Perfect. Two, one, two, three. Will it light like that? Portal. Okay, and I got the two extra for the tops. That's true. Oh no. Oh no, now I get to sit here and mine the cobble, or not the cobble, the obsidian. All right, let's see where we go. Da 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 da! Time to go to the nether. Where are we? Please don't let me go through someone else's portal. Please let portals all work out. Why is it taking? Oh no, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay guys, that's really unfortunate and not what we wanted at all. So, when we go through here, we're gonna come back out at the front. Okay, damn, that really sucks. That really sucks and I probably need to stop recording. Maybe I will get Ola to come help me figure out how to make that, because that should be far enough. I should be able to do a portal like that. So the next time we come back, or maybe I'll do... The next time we come back, I'll either have figured out the, the portal, or I'll be in the process of figuring out the portal. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Sorry to end on such a, a low note, but...
Oh no, that that really sucks. Oh. Anyway, bye. Hey guys. Hi. It's me. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. So, I'm really sorry. Super sorry. Although maybe I shouldn't be, because I know how obsessed some of you guys are with getting to watch videos of my face. So, maybe this is a good thing. I I I don't know. But if this isn't a good thing, I'm really sorry. There were two really important things that I really wanted to cover during the video that I completely forgot about. I am so sorry. I should probably stop apologizing now. <laughs> Done apologizing. So, two things. Two very important things. Thing number one is the thumbnail. You might have noticed it. You might not have noticed it. You should probably go take a look at it. I made it yesterday. I really like it. It's, it's calm and kind of peaceful and kind of pretty, but I, I'm not quite sure it really fills the feeling of my wannabe fan server series. So if you have a better idea, if you have a better thumbnail or something for me, f please let me know. Uh, I'd love to give them all a try. But I made this one. It's raining in Minecraft. I'm glad I'm not playing right now. Um, <laughs> I'd love to give it a try. I'd love to take a look at it. So yeah, if you've got one, let me know. Thing number two, more important thing, is that if you watched this video on a normal platform without ad block, you probably saw an ad. I know, ads are evil, advertising sucks, the Blob Brothers talk about how ads are dumb and they don't have them on their videos all the time, and I would love to be able to do what they do and make tons of money off other things and not have to do ads, but I would love to start making a couple cents or two a month off of this thing. I put a lot of time and energy and effort into making these videos, and I... I just, I kind of want to get rewarded, just, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. So, now I'm going to have pre-roll and post-roll ads. Um, if you watched any of my old videos, you might have seen that I had the little banner ads on the bottom. I'll be taking those off on all videos moving forward and replacing them with pre- and post-roll ads. I'm, if you, if you hate ads, if you think ads are evil and you don't want to watch ads, or you have ad block, or you're watching from a mobile platform, I'm, it's not like I'm gonna block you from watching the videos. There is a way to stop people from watching videos on a platform that doesn't show ads, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that, that's stupid. So, if you don't want to watch my ads, feel free to skip them, feel free to use ad block, whatever. But, it would mean a lot to me if you at least just, you know, give them a shot. Don't, don't hate me and unsub and hate my channel and hate everything I stand for just because I want to make a cent or two from your view. I, I know that's kind of selfish, but I just, it feels like the right thing to do at this point in my, in my video making. So that's, that's the thing that I'm going to be doing at this point in my video making. I hope, I hope you guys appreciate it and don't hate it too badly. I hope you guys appreciate it for what it is and don't hate it instead. That's what I was trying to get at. Um, yeah, those were the only two things I had to say, so this is really short. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode previously. I have figured out how to solve the portal problem already, so don't you worry. That episode will be coming out tomorrow where we solve the portal problem or see it solved. I still haven't quite decided. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the future again. Thank you so much for hanging in here all the way till the end. I will see you next time.